I will begin by cheating a little bit and saying that uh, I will say all and I will try to explain why. If we had the right to use slides, I would have shown you that in each of the asset classes today, for the last decade, Africa has outperformed the rest of the emerging countries. It's true for foreign direct investment, which is on average three to five point, depending on the year, three to five percent above the rest of the emerging countries, being Asia of America. It's true for the stock market, which are the rest of the world now is as volatile as Africa in the stock market, and Africa had performed the rest of the world by 5%, and it's true in private equity. Having said that, I would say that in 2014 and 2015, if I was an institutional investor, in my position, I'm a little bit biased by saying that, but I really mean it, I would concentrate in diversified private equity fund looking for the mid-cap market, which is the fast-growing market, low-risk, growing in Africa. And um, look, um, you provide both equity and long-term debt um, investment in Africa. Um, do you have any favorite private equity strategies that you like to work with? In particular? Thank you, Colin. Yeah, in fact, what I'm sharing with you now is not just the, 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 the lesson from Amethyst, which is a recent uh, Pan-African fund that we created two years ago, but also the lesson learned from when I was CEO of Poparco, where I was running a more than two billion portfolio debt and equity, African portfolio, uh, in 35 countries and in uh, 140 transactions. And in fact, these lessons that I apply today in MITs, I think, are, are sixfold as an investor in this continent. First thing I would say, you should look for diversification, and you should look diversification because it's a volatile continent. It's still a volatile continent, so you want, if you have to exit Ivory Coast in 2011 or Kenya in 2007, you have a problem. But if you have a diversified portfolio and if you can stay an additional 18 months in Kenya in 2007 and an additional 18 months in Ivory Coast in 2011, you don't have any issue. The second one is the relation to time, which links with the first one. Uh, you have much better results. I could even give, prove that by numbers. If you are able to stay on the, five to, on the six to eight range, year range, then on the four to five, uh, we, were, we had a multiple of four in our direct investment staying seven years in Africa. Where, and the funds, we had also a small fund of fund activity in my past, had much lower than that because they were exiting too, too, too early. And multiple sometimes matter more than, than fewer IRR. Yep. The third lesson is minority. Uh, there is not a big market of buyouts in Africa. Yeah, there is a few targets. Uh, everybody's chasing them. And one, one of my fear is that uh, with more players today on the continent, which is very good for the continent because there is a very big market still, if everybody chases a few big deals, you will have uh, overpricing at entry and huge problem at exit uh, because the market is not liquid enough. So the main part of the market is a market that big companies, especially in the US, cannot address. Uh, we work, you would be surprised, and I could give you an example of, for example, the first two deals we made. You would be surprised of the level of sophistication, even if they are small, of the companies where we invest. Uh, in fact, the mid-cap market of Africa is very similar to the mid-cap market of Europe 20, 20, 20, uh, 20 years ago. It's family-run businesses, family-run companies, well run, but they don't want to sell the majority now that uh, they have the chance after two last decades to, 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 to foresee a very, very strong growth. So the main good model for me is minority stakes uh, and, and not buyouts, mid-sized company, uh, and go for regional champion in regional economies. Because when you became, when you're becoming uh, a leader in your own country in Africa, you have no other possibilities than go in your regional market. With all of that, diversification, relation to time, uh, going in the main market, it's extremely difficult to lose money. Okay. Uh, and you can still tap the growth of the continent. Thank you. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.